Hi, I'm Brad Coven, editor of Metal Forming Magazine, and this is Explore the Floor at Fabtech 2013. I'm here with Will Healy from Balif. Will's going to tell us what Balif is uh, displaying at Fabtech this year. Will? This week, we're showing, at the show, we're showing sensors, networking products, and industrial RFID to be able to help people with process improvement, traceability, and increasing profitability on their plant floor. So over here, we're gonna demonstrate our press and Indi sensing applications, as well as uh, some other things that can help you process improvement. So over here, we have an RFID processor, and it's actually reading this tag, and they're using the tag to do die identification right on the tool. You don't have to have a traveler or any paperwork traveling with the die. All of the information is stored right here on the chip and read by the head. Over here, we're demonstrating non-contact couplers. This can be used to transfer information across an air gap to the sensors, and then the information from the sensors back across the air gap to the press control. Here we're demonstrating a linear transducer for monitoring shut height. As the magnet moves up and down, it gives a measurement value based upon the position. On this part of the tool, we're demonstrating feed sensors. You can see here a proximity sensor is, is detecting proper feed on the tool. Over here is another photoelectric sensor detecting proper feed on the tool if you don't have room for a prox. And down here we have a photo eye that has a special angle shape to be able to detect the feed as it comes into the press. So here we're showing in-die sensing for die protection and for error proofing to be able to measure did you have the correct bend angle or to make sure that a slug actually came out of the part. For part eject or part out, we can actually use a light curtain like this. So actually any place in this area where a part's ejected, we can detect it and tell you that the part left the, the press safely. Or you can use an optical window like this and actually see the parts as they fly by. These are great because they can see small, fast moving parts. Up here, we have the Bal of Smart Light. It's operating in level mode. And what that's doing is it's tied to a value, a count value of an output bin. So as I fire and as parts leave the press, it fills the output bin. When it turns red, it communicates with the operator, hey, come empty the bin. Power of the light is the master. The master collects information from all the smart devices mounted on the press and the tool and communicates them over an industrial network back to the control. From our die and stamping demo, we're now going to go over to our weld fixture demo to show you some of the applications there. On our weld fixture demo, you can see a typical automotive component being welded together. We're going to look at some applications on this fixture. At the show, we're demonstrating our new W51 coating over a steel face sensor. This is used to resist weld slag. It's been tested and verified by many of our existing customers. And actually, the steel face protects it from loading impact. Here we're demonstrating our new high durability line of welding cables. Here you can see a molded silicone tube. This is something that people have been using for a while, but we have now molded it into the connector. Here you can see actually a silicone jacketed cable that's molded right into the connector so that the diameter is a lot smaller to running cable trays. And lastly, this is a PTFE Teflon coated cable that is non-stick and low friction and has a very small diameter to run many cables back through a cable tray. I appreciate everybody taking time to watch this video today. If you want more information on the die demo or the applications you saw on our weld demo, please visit www.balaf.us.